Oh God. Okay, what is it? This is the fork root. It's the fork bearer. We use the bearers for sores and bad skin and dandruff in the hair once we dry them out. And we use the root is a good holly blood purification. This is a real strong one here, and this is a very old one. This here could be in a neighborhood of 15 years old. And the leaves are edible in springtime. See, the grasshoppers are eating it now. See, look how to clean those off. See. So it likes the water. Those are elephant leaves. There are small elephant leaves there. It was amazing to see that there. We would do go out in the woods and get the what they call the bay leaves. And we would put the bay leaves, sometimes they would put it on the bed, because then that time bed bugs was a little problem. And we would put the bay leaves on the railing of the bed, or on the bed springs, to eliminate bed bugs if you had those. Mosquitoes. Uh, Daddy would take a string and coat the string with camphor that we made from the root of the camphor tree. And we would run it across the windows because we had no screen. And then mosquitoes, we would use the red cord. Because mosquitoes, somehow they would pick up that red cord as a block. And they wouldn't fly into the window. Say it again. Stank weed. This right here is stank weed. To warn off mosquitoes. You can take this right here and kind of water, ball it up, and wear it around your neck. And mosquitoes won't come near you with this. When you roll it, it got a foul plate, a foul smell to it. So is that what Miss Kadem had in the backyard and you was telling them right. about the um, mosquitoes? Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Every now and then a bat will come through. But now, since this bat house has been built, and I understand, I don't know how true it is, that this will hold about 50,000 bats. And what they do, they come in just about dark. The mosquitoes don't stand a chance around these bats. Neither certain types of insects. They clean everything, including the dung is used for salt feeder, for lots of things, preservative when they get it on the market. It looks brown now, but it's really white because thousands and thousands of mosquitoes and I understand that they one mosquito can clear up like five to ten thousand mosquitoes. One bat can clear up five to ten thousand mosquitoes in the run of a night. But if we have fifty thousand bats in this house, well, you know how many, how many mosquitoes is around? Very little. In this whole park, when we were here before, this time in the evening, you can stand out here for the mosquitoes. But we here now, for mosquitoes should really be bad, and there's no mosquitoes. This is one thing here, I always wanted around. I don't know why that the government don't use these bat houses around and then we'll have to spray all these insecticides to kill the mosquitoes and the bugs because this is chemical free. And it costs just a little to build one of these houses. This is one of the bigger ones. I think it's a 15 by 20, whatever, I'm not sure. But I was here about five years ago when they were putting this up. Since I was here, they really did a lot because they got the fence here they didn't have, and they got the other wooden fence around the uh, concrete slab that's pulled up on the stilt. So the bats is really something that we need more and more and more of. One of the largest bats in the area is in Texas, into the mountains there. And also there's a few into North Carolina, up at Asheville and the Black Mountains, because I've seen them there at night. But when you got them, uh, the bats around, you have the least of mosquitoes. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ingram. We're back here at the Swanee Music Park, waiting for the bats behind me to come into this bat house or to fly out of this bat house. As you can see, the other people here are waiting for the same thing. So we're going to get, we're going to let you take a look at the people here waiting on the bats too.
Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Huh? Now they, now they are. Yeah.